Hello guys, and today I have my Man of the Match Pillar Review. I know it's about six weeks late, but I was away and I did want to get these Man of the Match player reviews done. So, in the squad I do have Man of the Match Burini at striker, and uh, Man of the Match Dorossi's on the bench, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner. But Pillow, I suggest having him in a holding midfield role, because he's got low attacking work rate and medium defensive work rate, which means he floats around the midfield. He's the one who orchestrates the attack, he doesn't usually get up in an attack. When he does, he's good, but... I would suggest, you know, making him that holding midfielder so he can pass the ball, he can unlock defences, defences, sorry, and um, he's got 62 pace, 79 shooting, 93 passing, which is awesome, 88 dribbling, 74 defending and 50 heading, he's got 4 star weak foot, which is good, 3 star skill moves, which is okay, and he costs a hell of a lot of money, over 400k, and he's a pretty rare player, so uh, would I suggest getting this guy, uh, probably not, um, yeah, he was good, but there wasn't much of an improvement upon his night in form. We'll look at his in-game stats. His skill attributes were awesome, especially his shooting and his passing. And of course, he's got that long passer trait and that playmaker trait, so he's perfect for passing. And um, he's got a finesse shot, so his shooting overall is really, really good. His defending stats, some were good, some were bad. I actually thought they were better than what they showed. Uh, we've seen uh, his work rates and his um, weak foot and skill moves. His physical attributes aren't that great as you expect, uh, bar his balance, which is good, and his mental attributes are really good with 96 vision being the main one. So that means that he can pull off some great passes, whether it be long passes, uh, short passes, through balls, he, he's got them all. Um, his set pieces are brilliant with that awesome free kick. I didn't get to try it out though. I assume that it's amazing, like he's not in form, and he's great at corners and uh, whipping the ball in from a set piece. So yeah, he is, you know, the guy you look to to unlock defensives, get a good ball in, uh, maybe get an assist here or there. And um, yeah, his dribbling's great. He's got three-star skill, so that's good. As you can see, defending's pretty good as well. Uh, it's not amazing, but he can do the job there. He's a bit slow though, guys, and he's a bit weak. And um, I just didn't really see much of an improvement. Honestly, not informed. Bar uh, is defending, really. And... Um, that was pretty much the only main improvement I actually saw. His shooting is good, but I didn't really see much of an improvement, guys. It's great, but, you know, 400k is not really worth it. You know, he's got sublime passing, good defending, shooting, and dribbling. But he's really expensive, and he's a bit slow and weak, to be honest. You know, especially this game is all about pace. So he's not worth getting, guys. He's a bit better than not in form, in terms of physical stats and defending. But only those... Slight improvements were made to the card and everything else was the same. So 8.5 out of 10 rating. Um, thanks for watching this review. I know it was short, but um, you know, loads of other people reviewed him. Uh, it's probably not going to get as many views. But if you wanted my opinion, that was it. So yeah, cheers for watching the video. I'd love it if you gave it a like. And uh, have a good day, guys. Goodbye.